guys welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is Denasia and if you are returning if you already subscribed and everything hey y'all know me you already know what's up <laughs> why do I sound like that okay anyway we're just gonna get into this video and we're gonna chat a little bit hold on okay so first of all this video it's currently 4 35 in the morning um yeah i'm very like spur of the moment kind of person like a lot of the videos that i do are pretty much just like i'm gonna do a video like randomly so um yeah that's why i'm doing this so don't mind my parents don't mind what's going on back here this is this is me this is the real me okay pretty much the reason why um i'm making a video is because i pretty much just spent the last hour crying i don't know if y'all can tell but yeah i just spent the last hour crying let me just insert right here that I'm not saying this for sympathy at all. Let me just say that again, okay? I'm not saying this for sympathy at all. I'm saying, and I'm going to explain to you guys why I'm telling you guys that I cried for an hour. Um, But pretty much it was very needed and I didn't realize how needed it was until like now. That's why I'm making the video pretty much um you know I, I was out all day had a good day blah, blah blah and I got home and I'm like okay like you know sometimes things just hit you out of the blue so it's like all right okay cool all right cool 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 right and then sometimes and it hits it things hit you and it's like all right bet like now I'm gonna cry <laughs> so um you know I just I cried and I just you know I allowed myself to feel my feelings and I journaled a little bit and I just cried and I, you know, I, I just cried. I just cried. Let, again, let myself feel my feelings. Um, and let me just say like now, like that is so important. This is something that I tell like my mom and just my friends who are going through things. I tell them this all the time. Allow yourself to feel your feelings. Allow yourself to cry if you need to cry. Allow yourself to talk if you need to talk. Like, I tell, like, I tell people, like, if you need to call me, call me. I don't care what time it is. I don't care the day. I don't care what I'm doing. Call me. Like, we we need to do that, you know? However, with me this time around, I feel like in the past, I've I've always caught... when I Whenever I would get in these moods and I'd feel sad or whatever, I would call somebody, whether it's my mom, whether it's my cousin, my friend. I would call somebody just to, like, vent to, to just have somebody there, right? Which is perfectly fine you know everybody is different there's nothing wrong with that but this time around i just felt like i felt like i needed god more than i need a person feel me like i could have easily called my mom to come downstairs i could have easily called somebody because you know my people's is down for me okay but <laughs> i could have easily just like called somebody but i feel like you get to a certain point and it's different from for everybody but this is just my experience i feel like right now i'm at a point where it's like i need god more than i need a person here for me you know like you, you're gonna always need your people but like there's definitely gonna be those times where like you might be so overwhelmed that like there's no there's nobody in this world that's gonna be able to like calm me down except for god you know what i mean and like I said, like, I've always been the type of person that like, I'll call my mom, I'll call somebody to just calm me down. But in this specific moment, I just felt like, God, I need you. And the reason why I felt like this was because like, it's like God knows, he knows every single thing. He knows my heart. He knows my mind. He knows everything. Okay. Okay. He knows my situation. He knows the next person's situation. Like, he knows everything, you know? And that's not to say that, like, your family doesn't or whoever is there for you doesn't. But, like, it's just, it's some, it's like, it gives comfort to me. Just knowing that God sees everything and that, like, he hears my cries and that he's going to give me his peace. Like, there's a, um, there's, there's this, the scripture and it basically says, something about peace i'm gonna like just write it below because i'm i don't know scriptures by heart i'm i'm trying so far i have jeremiah 1 5 um and isaiah 41 10 jeremiah 1 5 is about um 
God made me in my mom's womb. He has a plan set for my life. And Isaiah 4, 41, 10 is, I've been practicing. I've been trying to like just quote Bible scriptures. I'm trying y'all. <laughs> um, Isaiah 41, 10 is like, don't, don't be scared. Like don't doubt. Basically God's with you. I could be wrong. That's why I'm gonna just quote it. But it's something like that. I'm, I'm learning y'all. <laughs> but yeah um i lost my train of thought but yeah um pretty much just like i feel like in this moment i just needed god because like oh like i was saying like he he sees everything he knows how i truly feel you know and again that's not to say that my people don't but he sees it you know and i feel like i just really got to a point where it's like okay like i don't i don't I don't want to talk to anybody else like I want to talk to God so you know as I'm crying I'm just like God I need you I need you even when I was journaling I said like God I need you like my the way that I try to do things like when I try to do it it don't work so like I'm gonna need you now you know like have y'all ever have you ever asked God to like oh should I do this and he's like no right so then you're like okay he said no but um I'm gonna just like try it this way and see if that works and then you're like, okay, like, I should have listened. <laughs> like, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> but, yeah, so, like, I was just, you know, just calling out to God. And, like, an hour went by. And after, it hit 4 o'clock. And I was just, like, like, I just took a breath. And I was like, okay. You know, like, and I'm literally, like, you could see, like, I'm fine. Like, it was just, like, a peace came over me pretty much. And was like, okay, like, it just let me know that, like, God, like, he, he, he sees me, bro, like, he sees me, he feels me, like, he knows what I'm dealing with, you know what I mean, and he's not gonna leave me, you know, and that's pretty much why I'm, like, putting this out there, because it's, like, no matter what you're going through, like, yes, you should absolutely, like, if you have people who are there for you, who you can vent to, absolutely talk to them, but don't forget about God, because ultimately, he's the only one that can give you that peace, that can give you that happiness, you know, and I didn't know that for a long time, like, I feel like even still, I struggle with, like, looking to people, looking to people to make me happy, and that's not a bad thing, like, that's why people are here, but, like, ultimately, I want that peace, and I want that happiness, and I want that joy, and all that stuff to come from God, you know, so even, like, I try to make it a point every single day and it's hard like some days I really don't want to do it some days I don't do it and other days like it's like oh like I'm on fire for God so like some days I'll really try to like just read the Bible and try to pray and like it's hard it's hard like nobody really talks about it but it's really hard to like stay on fire for God you know and sometimes I feel like that's why sometimes he'll put us in situations that like get us really like sad or emotional so it's like remember me like remember that I'm the one who's gonna heal you like you know like don't don't put don't put all your trust and don't put all your happiness and don't put all the stuff into just the world like put that in me like trust me for that you know and I feel like that's kind of what just happened you know so that's why I'm saying like when you get into those moments that are like just you feel like your heart is breaking like your heart's gonna just like burst right out of your chest like I feel like sometimes that those moments are the most powerful because th those are the moments that like connect you back to God you know so that's pretty much why I'm like you know like I said I could have easily called somebody but I'm like no like this is this is the perfect moment for me to call out to God and literally like he allowed like I can honestly say I needed that hour to cry I needed that hour to feel high full because literally right when it hit four o'clock on the dot my like everything just went away like I felt peaceful I felt fine you know so like pretty much I don't know if like y'all got anything out of this this was just me just telling you guys how powerful like those moments are when you just feel like your world is coming crashing down because that right there <clears throat> excuse me that right there can be your moment to just like cry out to God like you know it sometimes it's not even the devil that's trying to like make us feel like that like it's god sometimes trying to get us to that place to focus back on him and to let us know that like i'm that he's the one like that he's the one that can really like change our situation and just you know help us you know so i encourage you all 
anybody who's going through anything or just anything to just like turn back to god to just like focus oh you guys can hear the birds chirping <laughs> anywho turn to god and i can also like make another video about just like how i how i you know um talk to god how i read the bible like how i start you know just like i can make more videos about that y'all gotta let me know because like you know, I just do spur of the moment kind of thing, but I can definitely do that. But pretty much, um, I just, again, I just want to encourage you all, whoever's watching this, to just, like, turn, turn back to God. Put your trust in God. In moments where you feel like your world is coming crashing down, I know I already said this, but I'm going to just say it again. Turn to God. He's the one that can, like, turn your situation around. He's the one that can, like, really just bring you peace like peace that lasts peace that like that is above anything that you can ever imagine like just turn to god like i promise you like it's hard like walking with god is so hard but it's so worth it because again even in times where you feel i keep saying it in times where you feel like your world is coming crashing down there comes this peace with it that is like yes i'm sad but i'm good like it, i can't ex like it doesn't make sense until you experience it for yourself and this isn't the first time that i felt like this like a few weeks ago i'm like okay like god this is this is your will for my life and it hurts but i'm good like it's just you it hurts but it feels fine like i'm sad but i feel peaceful like it's so weird and that's why like i i m more of my conversations are centered around god like it oh guys i'm sorry i just get so like once i start i can't stop once you oh okay i'm not even gonna get into it with y'all i could go on and on and on but i'm gonna just end it here i hope this was informative in any way again we're not doing this for sympathy we're not doing this for likes this is just like i just genuinely like want to help encourage somebody who's really going through it because like i was going through it for a little bit but you know i'm good now and it's about to be morning time and that there's also ew there's also a bible scripture i don't know the exact one but basically like in the morning all things are made new so at night cry be sad do what you got to do but in the morning you wake up, you do your makeup, you go out, you get dressed, you do your hair, and you get to pop in because, you know, it's, an, it's a new day. It's a new day to just be happy. It's a new day to just experience new things. It's, it's a new day. So leave whatever happened at last night and just wake up and just do your thing because it's a new day, okay? Also, I just want to add, like, I know that there's a lot going on right now. And it can really be just very, like, bad for your mental sometimes. So I also just want to encourage you guys to just take some time off social media if you need to. Just take some time to just get back, like, just to calm your mind. Like, it's kind of scary out there, you know, especially being black and especially, like, having black family members. It's scary, so just i don't want to like be just put this video out and make it seem like i'm being insensitive to everything that's going on because that's not my intention i'm black i'm half black my family's black my dad's black like i have black people all around me you know so that's like not what i'm trying to do but like there's also people that are still dealing with you know other things in their life so just you know take this time to really be nice to yourself be nice to others be nice to just everybody and just stand up for yourself most importantly so i don't want to make it seem like i'm being insensitive to everything that's going on because i care about it but i also do realize that people are still like life is still happening you know like people are still dealing with their own just you know things are still happening in people's personal lives so um I encourage you guys to just, you know, take mental breaks as needed and just really care for your mental health during this time. So, yeah, I feel like that was all over the place, but I hope it helps somebody because, um, yeah, it was just very, like, eye-opening to me. So, <sighs> yeah, have a great morning, a day, because it's freaking 5 o'clock in the morning now. So, um, yeah, that's it for right now. Um...
I have more videos coming and also just let me know like if you guys want me to like make more videos about like how I worship and how I do this and that and just how my life as a Christian woman is going so far and no I'm not perfect okay so yeah I'm ending this now because y'all trying to keep me up all right I'm out bye